Hey guys, welcome to another level one MCAT prep question. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Right, so with this question, what we have is solve this equation, uh, three to the power of X and three to the power of two X minus one equals 81. Now, the first thing you really wanna be doing is we wanna actually make sure that we actually have um, everything with base three, right? Because I mean, we can kind of see that this has a base three here, this has a base three. So what we wanna do is we wanna convert this 81 to base three. Now, if you've been kind of keeping up my tutorials, you would know that we kind of have these special numbers. Three to the power of one is three, three squared is nine, three to the power of three is 27, and three to the power of four is 81. How do I know this? Because I know that's three times three times three times three is equal to 81. So going for this question, we're gonna write this as three to the power of x multiplied by three to the power of two x minus one equals three to the power of four. And we know that because we know that three to the power of four is actually equal to 81. Now, once we do that, what's our next step is that we've got two bases that are the same. And because the bases that are the same, we can actually add the powers together. Because remember, if you have something like three squared multiplied by three to the power of three, we would write this as three to the power of two plus three. And based on that idea, we're gonna kind of do the same thing here. Because the bases are the same, we're going to actually add the powers together. So we've got x plus two x minus one equals three to the power of four. The next thing is simplifying the power. So we're gonna get three to the power of three x minus one equals three to the power of four. Now, at this point, what we do know is that both threes are, you know, they're, they're like the bases are the same. So if the bases are the same, then we can actually say the two powers must actually equal each other. So think about it like this. If I have three to the power of something is equal to three to the power of four, then the only way this is possible is I would actually have to say that this box is equal to four. So that's kind of what's happening here. So what we're trying to say is that the two powers are equal to each other because the bases are the same. Because of that, we can forget about the bases and just write it as three X minus one is equal to four. And our next step would be to rearrange. So we've got three X is equal to four. And of course, minus one changes to plus one. Then we've got three X is equal to five, and then X is equal to five. Um, and of course, three is getting multiplied. So on the other side, it is gonna get divided. And so your answer is five over three. So the key thing with this question is to kind of recognize um, these kind of numbers, um, like the numbers like two to the power of up to five at least, and three to the power of up to five as well, I would say. Uh, those are like really important numbers like so you know that when you see like a 16 you can just put that as 2 to the power of 4 straight away kind of thing all right and if you're if you ever have any problems kind of remembering it just do this on the side here that i did with this green box just kind of play with those numbers and just try and um, get to it and then once you get to your number you can substitute and move on okay that's it for this question Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.